What's going on guys? Got some mail that I have been stockpiling over the last week. Just some pickups for the Braves PC and then uh, one card from a group break. All these cards are going to have a common theme to them. A problem that has been I guess you could we can definitely credit Ryan from RBI Crew 7 for bringing awareness to this problem but I'm pretty sure we've all had this problem for a while. We just needed somebody like Ryan to come out and bring public awareness to it and it's like that gluten the gluten free thing that's going on these days I'm pretty sure like the gluten problem has been around for a long time people just didn't realize it and now everyone's like oh yeah the glu it's all about the gluten don't eat that that's why I'm sick all the time which I don't see how people can not eat gluten. It's all the best foods have gluten in them. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what the, this OCA problem has been. It's an addiction that most of us have, and we need to admit it. It's always a first step. It's like alcoholism. So I've admitted it, but if you're addicted like me, you're about to get a pretty good fix right here in this video. So this is the card I got in the group break. Craig Biggio. It's going to be the only card available for trade. Looking for Brave stuff, of course. And then we got Mike Miner from Topps Chrome. Rookie card, black. And a numbered out of 100. And then got a Chris Medlin from 2013 Triple Threads. Numbered out of 99. I love this card because all the other ones I've seen are redemptions. So this one was pulled from a box. So all you people that have the redemption in your face, you know who I'm talking about. And then, of course, I had to get some five star for the Braves PC, the blue, number out of 25. Pretty much decided that the blue is definitely my favorite because I got a red. This is my first red. And the red is definitely nice. This crime dog here numbered out of 20. But just the blue. The blue looks the best. And then this card was a redemption that was redeemed. Top sent this to me. And this card, all these cards from this set are numbered right down here. But this card is not. I'm not sure why. This could be a special one. It's a one of one. No, it's not, because I actually looked on eBay and there's other ones on there that don't have numbering. So not sure what happened with that, but Thompson want to number it. And then got this John Smalls from Gypsy Queen. This is a nice clean classic looking card and got this 2013 tribute numbered out of 35 this is like the gold or copper or bronze or some metal that comes out of the ground Hall of Famer Tom Glavin I don't know if I said that and then the last two cards I got here, these are dual autograph cards, which I love on card dual autos. These are from 2000. Both these cards are going to be from the same set, 2005 um, Ultimate Signature Edition. So this one's numbered out of 250, Signs of October. And there's a sweet card with Joe Carter and John Smoltz. And then this card I've actually been trying to get this card for a while one finally came up on auction so I was able to get it at a price that I actually wanted to pay Dale Murphy and Robin Yount numbered out of 175 and there's a Chipper Jones and Pudge Rodriguez card from this set as well that just happened to come up on eBay last week but the guy will not negotiate with me he wants too much for it Sometimes I wonder if people look and see that I live in, in Atlanta because you can, because my eBay says what city I live in. Maybe I should change it. 
and they see, oh, look at this guy lives in Atlanta, and he wants his Chipper Jones card. Not going to work with them. So that's it. That is my OCA mail day. If you have an addiction like me, hope you got a little bit of your fix right there. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Peace out.